Hey, welcome to hack number 14. It's another robot. This week it's a robot based on the propeller chip and I'm using the Parallax MSR1 controller board. Pretty cool sounding name. Those are available at Parallax uh, for about $100 www.parallax.com. Check that out. This one has a ping sensor for uh, seeing around and it's got Roomba robot motors on it. I love these motors. They're a lot of fun to work with. It's all mounted on a Radio Shack uh, project box. It's got the tail wheel from a Roomba. And it's a pretty nifty project. I built this for uh, a development platform so I can play around with various sensors and other things in the future. That's why this is built the way it is. And I've got all this room on the front for other stuff. So this will be a good uh, base unit that I can experiment with. That was the whole reason I built it. So uh, let's take a look now at the Parallax programming interface, shall we? Okay, here's where we do all of our business with the code and the propeller. Uh, it all happens right here. It's all broken down into various sections too. And I'm a total noob when it comes to this. So I will be just showing you the basics of what I've worked with. I can't really explain it a whole lot at this point, but as time goes by, I will learn more and we can get into this a little deeper. But basically this is where you would uh, do all your declarations, the same as C and uh, this is called the object area and there's my uh, pulse width modulation PWM8 and up here in the corner if I double click on that then here's the code for that and the machine level uh, code for the pulse width modulation and if I go back up and double click my program name Dino Bot Motor Test we're back to where we were and right in here is where we do all of our routines that have that cause action in the robot. Um, right here, let's see, this is where the ping uh, comes into play. Um, the distance right here, it says, where is it? If distance greater than 20 centimeters, then the motors will drive forward at this speed, 200. If I change that, it'll change the speed of the motor else it will go into a turn right routine and down here is the code that makes it turn right so you uh, there's also a, a routine to make it turn left if I wanted to use that in the future and if I wanted to make one more for reverse I could and then I call up those routines in this area right here the pub main so to upload code you simply find your you know, identify hardware F7 and there it is, it's on COM12, so now we know where that is. And then you uh, go to Compile Current, which is Load EEPROM, which is F10. If you want to load it in RAM temporarily and not permanently in the EEPROM, you can hit F9. So we can go F11. It's uploading the program. Verifying it. And there it is, it's uploaded to the board now. Well, let's take a closer look at my homemade propeller development robot. Uh, it's based on the Parallax MSR1 robot board. This thing is a really cool board. It's got all kinds of cool things to make robots very easy to build. It has an H-bridge built in. You just hook your motors up here and here. I actually connected up these, uh, I soldered on these screw-on type terminals. Here's the voltage input. There's also another voltage input right here that's in the form of a barrel connector. Over here is the USB mini connector for uploading code and for debugging. Here we have a switch that can be all off, power on and motors off, and then power on with the motors on. And uh, the things, uh, the specs on this are pretty cool. Um, you can get them online at Parallax.com, but just a quick rundown, it's uh, the multi-core propeller chip. Uh, the EEPROM has 64 kilobytes of memory for data. On board you have 3.3 and 5 volt switching power supplies. And the power requirements are 6.5 to 15 volts. Uh, communication is through a USB-A to Mini-B cable. The dimensions are 3 by 4 by a little over a half an inch. 
and it's just a wonderful control board to get started with robotics. It's about $99 from Parallax. On this robot I have a ping sensor also from Parallax. Those are used in lots of applications where you see robots and I've got it mounted on a quarter twenty bolt so that I can move it up and down. If I want to try different sensors I can mount them to this pole in the future. On the back is the tail wheel from a Roomba robot. The motors are Roomba robot motors taken off from the Roomba and mounted up onto a Radio Shack project box. And I just simply drilled a hole through the wheel right there. Uh, not the wheel, the uh, motor. I'll show you another one here. <clears throat> this is what they look like in raw form. I drilled right straight through this and used that as a mounting point. Now you've seen the uh, outside of it. Let's flip it over and I'll show you what's inside the box. I put this little skid on here because it kind of helps uh, the robot get over things on that tail wheel. So let's take this off, remove the four screws, and in there I have a battery pack that can be lifted out like so. And it's a 12 volt. Whoa. 12 volt pack total. Tinergy batteries, rechargeables, they're great by the way. I've got a whole bunch of these. I haven't bought AA batteries in about three years now. They're really good. They're nickel metal hydride batteries. I think they're 2500 milliamp hour each. 26. And they're really good batteries so if you want some rechargeables check those out. Tinergy is the name. Tinergy. So that's what powers everything up. Now let's put it back together and watch it drive around a little. Finally got a few bugs worked out. Turns out I had totally forgot to install a 1K uh, resistor on the signal line of the ping sensor. That was giving me a little bit of a headache. But it's doing pretty well now. This simple little bot, it can go over some stuff. It's not an all-terrain bot, that's for sure. It's not meant to be. Tail dragger wheel is kind of kind of fun. A little different than other bots I've made. So I really like the uh, the propeller MSR1 board. Very cool board for developing robots with. The Arduino has its place. It's quick and dirty, basically. There's things you can do with that that. You can do with this, you know, you can do with the Arduino too. It's just in a different way because it's C. And the propeller uses spin. And I must say, I like the uh, programming interface a lot better. Things are uh, broken down into categories and they have a hierarchical kind of a readout that I like. So, here it is my propeller based robot development platform based on the MSR1 board. So check that out on parallax.com. Until next time, keep on hacking.